Howdy folks! Here's a play along video for the tune Boil Them Cabbage Down in the key of D. We're going to be using the D chord, the A chord, and the G chord. Or if you're doing easy G, you might want to just play the top three strings. Have your finger on the highest string, third fret. We're going to play through the tab first, and then we're going to get to the chords, okay? So the tab, we're going to start on the highest E string towards the floor, and we're going to start in the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. My guitar has a dot right on the fifth fret on the front, and it also has a dot on the top, right? And some of your guitars might not have that dot, but I know a lot of your guitars have a dot on seven, right, on the top or on the front. And that could be a good way to kind of find where you are. You can do seven minus two and easily find that fifth fret. So most of this melody can be played on just one string, okay? So we're gonna go nice and slow in the beginning. And we're gonna to try to use more than one finger, especially when we play five, seven, five, right in the beginning. Okay, so find that fifth fret right there. Play it three times with me, ready, and. Really make sure you got that first note right. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna start the tune. We're gonna be five, seven, five, two, five, five. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Five, seven, five, two, section. So the last two measures of the A part and the last two measures of the B part are they exactly the same. They go two, two, zero, zero, and then three on the string right above it, the second string, the B string. Okay, it's different than this three. All right, we use both of those threes in this song. Um, the B part's a little bit easier than the A part because you don't have to really skip. You don't have to slide up to the fifth fret at all for that B part. Right? Everything kind of just stays within two and three. So if you want to just focus on one part at home, uh, maybe just focus on the B part for now. Let's do it one more time together, okay? From the A part. Five, seven, five, two, one. Two, <clears throat> one, two, ready, go. When up on the mountain Gave my horn a blow Thought I heard my true love say Yonder comes my bow With that low three, B section. Boil them cabbage down. Bake them biscuits brown. Only song that I can sing is Boil them cabbage down. Cool. So let's go over the chords right now. So the chords that you need for this song are D, A, and G, right? And there's two different ways to play G if you're playing the advanced 
four finger way, there's even a three finger way. There's a one finger way, but you have to make sure you're only playing three strings when you play the one finger way. So decide before you start practicing which G you're actually gonna be using. Are you gonna be using easy G or regular G, right? No shame in using easy G at all. Um, and if you're having trouble playing the tune and like singing along with it, just practice those three chords like we do in class. Let's do that now, okay? Let's play the D chord four times. Let's play the A chord four times. Let's go back to the D chord and then back to the G chord, okay? So D chord first for four times, then four beats of rest and switch to the A chord. Right, this is how you can practice any chord switching, any chords, right? Pick two chords and just switch back and forth between them with four beats of rest in between, okay? D chord first, right? Middle finger and uh, pointer finger are separated by one string, right? We have the highest E string and then the G string, and then your ring finger is gonna go right in the middle on the third fret. Right, make sure you have that last page in your book open or the chord chart open so you can reference that uh, so you're not scrambling and trying to figure out what the chord shape is. For our A chord, you're just gonna simply move that pointer finger up one string and then place everything on, in that second fret, making sure that that high string is open. And you got these two strings on the bottom which don't have any fingers. Make sure you're playing only five strings. Okay, and then G, everyone knows G. One of the first chords we covered. Okay, so D chord four times, then A, then D, then G. Let's see it. One, two, D chord. Two, three, four. Switch to the A chord, switch to the A chord. Triangle shape, D, then the G chord coming up, G, however you want. Back to the G, D chord, back to the D chord, and a D. Let's do it again. To the A chord, move the finger up, straight line. Back down to the D chord, triangle shape now. G chord, easy G or the hard G. Finish on the D chord, finish on the D chord. So you could do that exercise for as long as you want, right? Reset the video to where we started doing the exercise so you're ready to go right away, right? Pick what G you want to use. I'm going to sing the song with the chords. This is an easy down strum. It's going to be two strums per measure. <clears throat> so if a measure is like the block of uh, where the notes are in between, right? So when up on the mountain, one strum per, uh, two strums per measure. Okay, ready? We're gonna do it nice and slow. One, two, three, D chord. When up on the mountain, gave my horn a blow. Thought I heard my true love say, yonder comes my bow. Biscuits brown, only song that I can sing is boil them cabbage down. You'll notice I did something a little bit different than that was on our music sheet. Our music sheet has a very quick change at the very end. We have yonder comes my bow, but I went straight to the A chord instead of doing a D-A-D -D at the end. All right, you could do a D-A-D -D at the end, but I think this way is a little bit easier and um, 
since making the chart for everyone, I've sort of realized that I probably should have just went straight to the A chord. That's on the second and fourth line of music, if you're, if you're curious. I'll play it once written now for all the folks that can play it like that. <clears throat> and if you can't uh, strum all the chords, maybe just strum one chord. When up on the mountain, switch to the next chord. Gave my horn a low switch. Thought I heard my true love say, yonder comes my bow. Right? No shame in just strumming one chord and, and switching while we sing it, while we're singing. One more time uh, with the advanced way that the music is written. One, two, <clears throat> one, two, ready, go. When up on the mountain gave my horn a blow, thought I heard my true love say, yonder comes my bow. Boil them cabbage down, bake them biscuits brown. Only song that I Good. So I think a really important thing for everyone to work on is their chord switching, right? Because not a lot of us are there yet. So before we can even play that song, try to do the chord switching exercise that we did in the middle of this video, right? Work on the B section for the, the tab melody, which I think a lot of you uh, can accomplish with one or two t uh, practice sessions at home, right? Make sure you're practicing once a day, 15 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That's all good. All right, try to practice frequently and consistently. All right, cheers and uh, good luck. <laughs>